Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria and this is my monthly favorites. So I have just a small amount of products here, but these are products I've been using all month long and that I really, really love. So let's get started. The first favorite for this month is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer. I actually picked this up on sale for $4 from Ulta and wow, this is a really, really good concealer. It has great coverage and the texture is like so unique. It feels almost like a liquid lipstick, but yeah, it doesn't dry like obviously it's like drying and matte as a lipstick. It's really, really nice. Um, feels super smoothing. It has a ton of coverage, so I am definitely in love with that. I like it more than Tarte Shape Tape. I like it more than the Makeup Revolution Concealer. It's just huge win this month. The next item we have is the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. This isn't technically like a makeup setting spray, it's more just like a, a refreshing mist for your face, but it's great if you are like, you don't want a mattifying setting spray and you don't want a dewy setting spray. It's like right down the center of the road. It's not too dewy and it's not too matte, it's just like the perfect just little refreshing mist to your face and just settles all the powder in. It's just like nice and hydrating. I love it. It's super nice and it's super cheap. This little baby size is like $3.99 I think. So it's awesome. The next product we have is the Tarte Mermaid Skin um, Serum. I got this in like a skincare little like sample bag set from Sephora and I really really like this. Um, it's a super hydrating serum, but it's not heavy and it feels nothing obviously like a moisturizer. It's just night, nice and very, very light. If you had oily skin, you would love it, but if you have super dry skin, it's awesome because you can put that on as a serum and then follow with like a rich moisturizer after. So, love that. The next item we have is this um, Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in the, shade, in the shade Trendsetter. This is the perfect fall liquid lipstick and I really really like this formula. It's super thin but it doesn't compromise on pigmentation because of how thin it is. So it's very thin but it still has a ton of pigment. If you want to see like there's a little swatch right there. It's like the perfect orangey brown like fall color. It's amazing. I actually in my last tutorial I'm wearing that shade in the video so if you want to see it on the lips you can watch that video. I'm also wearing this eye look so if you like that, you can watch that as well. Um, the next item we have is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and that's what I'm wearing right now. This has a very, very simul similar texture to the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick. It's very thin, and it's just like very soft. It's not crinkly, it's not drying, it's not sticky. It's super, super nice. Like it literally just goes over your lips, super just like plumping. It's similar to like a Too Faced Liquid Lipstick, except it's a lot thinner in texture, but the finish is very similar. So I love this. I want to pick up more of these um, and try out the other shades and see if they're as good. The next item we have is this Philosophy Purity Pore Extractor Mask. This actually is one of the only masks in the whole entire world that actually works. Like it seriously works. You put this on, leave it on for 10 minutes, don't leave it on for more. A lot of people think like, oh, if I leave the mask on longer, it's going to work better. Actually, that's going to cause um, a negative reaction. You can give yourself inflamed oil glands, all sorts of things. You don't want to leave a mask on longer, especially not like a pore extracting one or a clay mask. You don't want to leave it on any longer than it says to because it's just going to dry out your skin too much and can, can actually like cause you to get pimples. So you don't want to do that. Um, but if you leave it on for 10 minutes, wash it off, it actually does get rid of like blackheads and helps like dissolve out sebaceous filaments somehow. Like it's actually a miracle worker. Like it's really, really good. And there's hardly any masks that in my opinion actually work. I've tried like probably like 50 different masks and there's only like three in this whole wide world that I actually like and would like recommend to somebody. So that's awesome. It's amazing. Give it a try. Um, you can even get a sample from Ulta, get a sample from Sephora. It's amazing. And my last favorite of the month is super weird, but it's this Glade Warm Flannel Embrace Air Freshener. This seriously smells so good. It smells like a cologne, like mixed with spices and like fern. It's amazing. And it's not like headache -y. A lot of like scents that are like that, they smell like too strong, like they give you a headache. But this, no, it's just amazing. It's a little reminiscent of Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb, that cologne. It just smells so, so good. I love it, but it still has like a touch of like fallish, Christmassy type of um, scents in it because of the cardamom. And it's just, it's amazing. I love it. 
And the best part is it's 97 cents at Target. So what a win. Um, it doesn't have the best staying powder power if you just like spray it into the air or whatever. You really want to like spray it onto the couch or spray it onto like the towels in the bathroom or spray it on something to where the fragrance can really like cling to it and absorb in and really stick. Then it lasts for a long time. So those are my monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you pick up anything I mentioned, let me know. Bye.